me editing myself, putting the dust jackets on and off. I should have done this before I started the video, but you know, Jan never does things logically, ever. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with a video all about my favorite covers without the dust jackets on. I only picked 11 books for this video. Honestly, I could probably pick a lot more, but I only did one of my bookshelves because I'm way too lazy to go through all the books on the this shelf and the shelf over there. So we're just going with the ones that were on my one shelf. And if you guys want me to do another one of these videos, let me know and then I'll do them. But without further ado, let us get started. My first book is Insurgent by Veronica Roth. When you take the dust jacket off, there's this little tree in gold, which I just love. I think I would like the Divergent one without the dust jacket on, but I don't have it in hardcover. I have like the movie version of it. So I definitely liked the Insurgent one better than the Allegiant one. And I just really like the tree. It's like nature-y. I'm like super into nature, so that's probably why I liked it more than Allegiant. My next two books are from the same series. So again, I would probably like the first book as well without the dust jacket on, but I don't have it in hardcover, so you know, it doesn't have a dust jacket. But the books are Catching Fire and Mocking Jay by Suzanne Collins, the second and third book in the Hunger Games trilogy. I just love the birds. I think they're so cool and I'm sure that the Hunger Games, if I had it in hardcover, it would also be super cool, but I don't sadly. I think that I like the silver better than the black. But I think it's just because I like blue more than red, so I don't know, but I think they're so pretty and shiny, so that makes me happy. The next book is Lauren Oliver's Delirium, and if you take the cover off, it's just a girl. I don't know why I love this so much. I just think it's so like pretty. I don't know why because it's literally just a girl looking down. And I also really like the spine of this. I don't know why. I just think that it's cool and I can pretend that it's my face. I have brown hair. I don't know if I would want brown hair. Isn't it like my hair is considered dirty blonde, right? So I feel like brown hair would just be too dark on me. But who knows? Who knows? This is getting way off topic. Like how did I get talking about my hair? What? Next cover is Lock and Key by Sarah Dessen. And I am gonna talk about it with the dust jacket on because I like how it has the cutout. Books with cutouts make me like really happy for some reason. I don't know why. But once you take the dust jacket off, it looks like this. And I just love the ombre so much, like the white to the blue. I have a thing for ombre. I always have since it's become a thing. I just love it so much. So the fact that it's on this book makes me very happy about it. Very happy indeed. The next book that I have is The Queen of Zombie Hearts by Jenna Schulwater. This is the third book in the Alice Goes to Zombieland series. But it's hot pink, okay? Like, I love it. And then all of them have a little quote. This one says we're all mad here. The first one, I don't remember what it is, but the second one is curiouser and curiouser. The first one's green, the second one's yellow, this one's hot pink. Obviously, I'm going to pick hot pink because I just, I love hot pink. And also, I really like the end pages. I think they're so pretty. I haven't actually read this one yet. I read the first book of it, and I actually really loved it. So why I have not picked up the second and third books, I don't know. And the fourth book is out now, too. So, like, I really should get on this ASAP. But, of course, I have not because I'm trash. The next book is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. And once you take the dust jacket off, it has Simon and Baz on the front. And I like the yellow color. I don't know why. Yellow always makes me really think of sunshine and happiness. So whenever books are yellow, I get really excited about it. I don't know why. I also really like the end page of this one because it's a map. And I just really like maps. Haven't read this yet, though. Still love it, though. The next hardcover that I love so dang much. I think it's so cool. The book is Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff and once you take the dust jacket off it's like secret files and like crossing out and red and yellow highlighting and I just think that it is so cool. I love books like these when it's not just like the title of the book. Whenever there's something like different about the covers I instantly want it which is why I wanted that book like super badly. I didn't even enjoy it that much. I think I gave it like a 3.5. Like it was good but it was like super overhyped so I didn't like it that much. The cover though is gorgeous. The next one is Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler and once you take the dust jacket off it's these beautiful rose petals like honestly I would just have the book without the regular cover on it but I would lose the dust jacket and then I'd be upset that I lost the dust jacket. I loved this book. I thought it was so interesting with all the pictures. I love books with like media in it which is probably why I was drawn to Illuminae as well. But this cover though is gorgeous and I just it's one of my favorites. It's always going to be one of my favorites and it's also one of the like butter covers so like you just want to like rub your face all over it all the time. Probably the only person who thinks like that but 
whatever. If you don't want to rub your face on a butter cover, you're lying. And my final book that I'm staying for this video is a Flawed by Cecilia Hearn. I love how thin that the dust jacket is and how you can like kind of see underneath the cover without actually taking it off. But I love how simple it is and how it's like all white and then she kind of just pops out because, you know, it's all white and then it's just like person in the middle. But I just think it's so pretty. And also I like how the back is like the back of her. Creative, you know? It's just so creative. Alright guys, so that was my favorite covers without dust jackets video. Let me know down below what your favorite dust jacket unveiling, whatever you want to call it, books are. And if you want to see more of my favorites, I will go through my other bookshelves, but your girl lazy so she didn't do it this video. But I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! See if we can do this without it dropping on my head. Oh, it's really heavy.